Be honest, have you ever had something like this, where you wanted to retarget a DAS character in Unreal Engine 5.4 and it turns out it sort of, they walk like that? Yeah, not a pretty sight, is it? And this happens because uh, there's been a small change, so to say, in the DAS to Unreal bridge. This is what my character blueprint looks like here. So this is the regular mesh here, the Quinn mesh, and this is my DAS mesh. And you know what, what's, what's going on? The reason for this is that you need to make a few subtle changes in Unreal Engine 5.4 when it comes to retargeting a DAS character. So first of all, this is what it looks like in DAS Studio here. And you usually go over to send DAS to Unreal. And if you're using David's bridge, this is not when you're using the DAS bridge, which currently doesn't support 5.4, you go and you fix the twist bones if you're using Genesis 8 or 8.1, and you don't have to tick that when you're using Genesis 9. But then there's this all important tick box here, which is called import facing right. Now this wasn't here up until recently, and it means when this is enabled, this will behave much like the original bridge used to work, as well as the bridge that comes from DAS. It means that the character is rotated 90 degrees, and that is what the retargeter inside of Unreal Engine here, when you get over to plugins, and then DAS to Unreal content under retarget, that's what this retargeter expects the mesh to look like. It expects it to be rotated. But of course, if you transfer it with this box disabled, then the retargeter is going to be wrong. I've made a copy. Whoops, no. Oh my God, don't do that. I said sending it again, isn't it? Dang, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, it's fine. Catastrophe has been averted. So what I've done here is I went into plugins, that's the real content retarget, and I've made myself a copy of this retargeter here. The clue is actually in the name here. It, it expects a rotated character to come in. So I've copied that and put that into my Jacqueline directory here and renamed it RTG Bridge. And if I open that up, you can see what the problem is. This is what that looked like. Now I've made myself a copy of that and just uh, duplicated that slightly differently, applied slightly different settings. And this is what that looks like. And if I use that in my animation blueprint, just quickly go over here and do my DAS mesh. And then I'll go and open my animation blueprint and swap out the retargeter here. The RTG bridge, that was the one that was original. And I have had one that was called, I believe, Jackie. That's the one. If I just go and use this, go back to there, then my character is looking OK. So how did I do that? What did I actually change here? Well, first, as I said, I made myself a copy of this. And then in here, all I did was when this says here running retarget, make sure you switch that over to edit retarget pose. And then this is an Unreal Engine 5.4 feature. This is not going to be available in 5.3. You can go to Auto Align and then select that and say Auto Align All Bones. So you have to be on the target here. Source is your Manny. Target is your DAS character. And if you say Align All Bones, then Unreal Engine is going to attempt to make sure this all lines up. And look at that. It works perfectly fine. Then uh, you can go and dial up a uh, maybe like a walking pose, like walking in place, and that solves that problem most of the time. If it doesn't, I do have another solution for you, so bear with me here. Let's go back to our animation blueprint and switch that over back to my my actual retarget bridge, and that's going to look exactly like what we've seen over here. All we need to do is make sure that mesh here is invisible, and then Jackie can go and run around in her stellar spacesuit. Look at that. Perfect. So now everything is okay. But I've seen instances where that doesn't work or, you know, there's there's another way to do this, especially if you're not on Unreal Engine 5.4 and you're running into this problem on 5.3 or below and you don't have that auto align feature, then there is another way that you can do this. So rather than going into this directory here that I've showed you in the previous 5.1 video where you're going to go into retarget and then you make yourself a copy of this. You don't do that at all. You create yourself an IK retargeter from scratch. And that happens in your skeletal mesh. So on the skeletal mesh, right click here and then head over here to create IK retargeter. And that will ask you what the source 
mesh is and that is not your genesis character of course because th that's the target character so you want to pick the source so in our case quinn works manny also works for male characters quinn works well for female characters so click that and then that creates yourself a new ik retargeter here i might go and call that one rtg from scratch just so that we know what that is but you know feel free to rename it something that is actually memorable and when i open that up then you can see that you can make your own adjustments here so let me go and move the meshes apart here that goes over here you got to be on asset settings for these things to show up if for, for some bizarre reason this doesn't show the source ik rig and the target ik rig you got to be on asset settings here it could be that you're on something else here so source ik rig the error message here tells you this we currently can't um, select any bone here for our target mesh and that's not because we're running the retargeter which even though we that could have been the reason it's because the quinn simple ik rig looks like like it doesn't have a root bone so let's go and switch this over from quinn to manny and manny is just ik mannequin let's do that and then all of a sudden things become available and now you can do things like um so with edit uh, retarget pose showing here you can go and you know bend things like elbows or, or feet you know whatever you need to you need to tweak here your feet look actually okay Let's go over to the forearm. If the forearm doesn't look quite like Manny's forearm does, you can go and make a changes here like this. And then I'm not going to go too much into detail here, but you know what that's, you know how to do that. You can make these changes manually if you want to go to town. But in 5.4, auto bone alignment is just so much easier. So once that is done, click save and then go and see if we can have a walking in place animation that now looks okay it doesn't look quite as exciting as the bone auto alignment because the fingers and all that you got to make these adjustments then manually but that also means you can make overrides if you need to do that if the auto alignment didn't work the way you wanted it to and that's basically how to do it and then you can go and run around with your character and um, you know things are working as expected i hope you found that helpful more unreal engine videos and also dance videos coming up very soon thank you so much for watching i'll see you later take care